Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. This is video number 11 on temperature and thermal processes. I'm your professor, Dr. Bijan Berenji. This is November 2016. Temperature. Temperature is subjectively thought of as how hot or how cold an object is. Temperature scales were developed to quantify this quality with a number. In the Celsius scale, temperature at which water freezes is 0 degrees Celsius, and the temperature at which water boils is 100 degrees Celsius. However, the temperature scales extend far beyond the range of human perception and our physical concepts. Temperature scales. The Celsius scale can be related to the Fahrenheit scale as temperature Celsius Tc equals 5 ninths Tf minus 32. The Kelvin scale can be related to the Celsius scale Tk equals Tc plus 273.15. The Kelvin scale measures absolute temperature. The zero of the Kelvin scale is absolute zero. Expansion of a solid object with temperature. A solid object may be observed to expand with an increase in temperature. The change in dimensions may be expressed in the following equation. Delta L equals alpha L naught delta T, where alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion, L naught is the original length of the object. Note that in this model, the expansion is linear with temperature changes in temperature. Heat phase changes in calorimetry. The heat gained by an object associated with a rise in temperature is given by Q equals mc delta t, where m is the mass, c is the specific heat, and delta t is the change in temperature. The specific heat of ice is 2100 joule per kilogram kelvin. The specific heat of water is 4190 joule per kilogram kelvin. Example 1. Calculate the amount of heat needed to change 1 gram of ice at t equals negative 20 Celsius to liquid water at t, at t equals 20 degrees Celsius, where the mass of the water is 1.0 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms. We may calculate the heat needed to warm the ice. We can calculate the delta T, uh, which is 20 Kelvin, and calculate the heat transferred, which is um, uh, 42 joules, and we may calculate the heat needed for the phase change from ice to water, which is Q2 equals M delta ML equals to 334 joules. Next, we may calculate the heat needed for heating the water to 20 degrees Celsius, which is uh, Q3 equals to 84 joules. We use the specific heat of water, 4190 joule per kilogram Kelvin. The total heat needed for the process is Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3, which is given by 460 joules. Phase change diagram. We may represent the temperature change of water as heat is added to transform it from ice to liquid water to steam. So, uh, for example, uh, with starting at negative 30 degrees, uh, cel degrees Celsius, um, we may add a certain amount of heat to, transfer to, to heat it up to zero degrees Celsius. And then uh, in part B, we're transferring from ice to water and so on to water to steam. The ideal gas law. The ideal gas equation relates pressure, P, volume, V, and number of moles, N, and the temperature, T. It is an equation of state. When the number of moles is constant, 
we have the following relationship p1 v1 over t1 equals p2 v2 over t2 Example 2. We may calculate the number of moles of a gas occupying a volume of 2 times 10 to minus 3 meters cubed at a temperature of 298 Kelvin and a pressure of 3 times 10 to the 5th Pascals. may use the ideal gas law to calculate the number of moles. N equals PV over RT. We may calculate uh, the number of moles 0 0.242 moles. Example 3. For a fixed volume of gas, what is the pressure if the temperature doubles? We may, we may consider the, the equation PV over T equals constant. So you may consider that when, cons when uh, deriving your solution. We may simply use P1 over T1 equals to P2 over T2 when the volume is constant. So uh, we may calculate the pressure doubles. Constants. The gas constant is given by R equals 8.314 joule per mole Kelvin. Avogadro's number, which represents the number of molecules in 12 grams of carbon-12, is given by Na equals 6.02 times 10 to 23rd molecules per mole. Boltzmann's constant is related to Avogadro's number and the gas constant, and Kb equals 1.381 times 10 to minus 23 joules per Kelvin. Kinetic molecular theory we may consider the kinetic molecular theory of gases, which, assume, which makes the following assumptions. One, the gas is composed of a large number of identical particles. The particles in the gas are in constant motion. Three, much distance is between the particles. Uh, there are elastic collisions between particles. There are no interactions. The average kinetic energy is uh, proportional to absolute temperature. For example, uh, uh, in uh, figure two, we may see an illustration of the kinetic molecular theory of gas. So the, um, the density is rather low, and uh, they are in constant, uh, the particles are in constant motion, bouncing only with the uh, walls of the, um, of the chamber. Uh, kinetic energy RMS speed of a gas. Average translational kinetic energy of n moles of an ideal gas is given by KTR equals 3 half nRT. The previous equation may be written as half mv squared equals 3 half kT. The root mean square of the speed of a gas is given by VRMS equals square root of 3 RT over m, where m is the molar mass of the gas. The molar heat capacity is also given by CV equals 3 half R. Molecular speeds. The distribution of molecular speeds is known to obey the maximal Boltzmann distribution. For, for example, we've given the functional form for f of v, which depends on v squared times exponential of negative mv squared over 2kt. So uh, we calculate the most probable velocity, vmp equals 2kt over m, and the average velocity is a k t, square root of a kt over pi m. Okay, so the Maxwell, distri Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of velocities for H2 gas is demonstrated in figure 3. And uh, we may see that 
uh, at 100, 100 Kelvin, the, the average speed is much higher than at 50 Kelvin, which is green curve. Note the difference between the most probable and the average velocity. Exercise 1. Calculate the volume occupied by one mole of an ideal gas at standard conditions. That is a pressure of 1.0 atmosphere and a temperature of 273 Kelvin. So we may use the ideal gas law to calculate the volume, V equals nRT over P. So V equals 1 mole times 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin times 273 K divided by 1.01 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Exercise 2. The temperature in interstellar space is 2.7 K. Find the RMS speed of hydrogen molecules at this temperature, given that the molecular mass of H2 is 2.0158 gram per mole. Uh, solution. We may use the formula for RMS velocity while recalling to convert the molecular mass into proper units from gram per mole into kilogram per mole units. So using v, VRMS equals 3RT over M, you may calculate VRMS equals 180 meters per second.